Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the chair of the SLA Board of Directors, Robert Gilbert. Excellent, Joy. Thank you. Hank, thank you. Ben, thank you. Um, personally, I'd like to give a shout out again to Kliston, um, Caroline Gilbert, who put this beautiful event together. Um, a lot of hard work that I can tell you. James Green, Tay Tay in the back on the visuals, fantastic. Um, we all appreciate it and uh, thought it was important that you guys know who actually does all the work because it certainly um, takes a lot of time to get done. Yeah, thank you. Now this is the fun part. Um, I'd like to announce the slate for the 2019 Board of Directors. It's chosen by the nominating committee. Because the meeting is being held in two locations, we may not have all the members here, but for those present, please raise your hand and briefly, as I call your name, Robert Gilbert, Markel West, Ms. Terry Moran, Paul Hansen Partners, Ms. Janet Beaver, Tokyo Marine, Mr. Tim Shea, R.E. Shea and Associates, Mr. James Bailey, Vela Insurance Services, Mr. Rich Gobler, Burns and Wilcox, Mr. Hank Haldeman, Worldwide Facilities, Mr. Cameron Kelly, also Worldwide Facilities, Ms. Pam Quillacy, Krauss and Associates, Northern California, Charles Rossin, RT Specialty, Ms. Kathy Schroeder, Sierra Specialty, Mr. Terrence Villar, Amwins, and last but not least, the best dressed gentleman in insurance, Mr. John Washington. Now, I know what you're thinking, that the top three is getting a second chance of doing this next year. And the real reason is they ran out of the damn bells. So you don't have to, you don't have to listen to that part of the uh, presentation today. Please, feel free. <laughs> Uh, before I go to the floor for any additional nominations, I'd like to remind the membership that each nominee must consent to the nomination, present his or her qualifications, and undergo a background check by the CDI and the SLA. At this time, are there any other nominations? Okay. Without objection, nominations are closed, and we will now proceed to vote on the slate. All in favor of electing the slate as determined by the nominating committee, please signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed? Signify by saying no. Perfect, thank you. Excellent. Motion carries. It's my pleasure to welcome this year's board of directors. Formal ratification of these results will take place once, the con once contacts with individual voters have produced a quorum Obviously, we cannot do that today. And we will announce the membership when a quorum has been achieved. Uh, in addition, and I'm wild about Harry, the nominating committee has approved the renomination of Judge Harry Lowe as our mediator. In accordance with the SLA Constitution, this nomination is now submitted for the membership approval. May I have a motion to reappoint Judge Harry Lowe as mediator? Is there a second? Thank you. All in favor by saying aye. All opposed, saying no. Excellent. The motion carries. I'd like to thank Harry again for agreeing to continue in his role as SLA mediator. Formal ratification of this vote will take place once contacts with individual voters have produced a quorum and we will announce to the membership when a quorum has been achieved. At this point in the agenda, we are scheduled to have a reading of the minutes from the previous meeting. These minutes were posted online last week for your review, and you should have received an email notification to that effect. Is there a motion to waive the reading of the previous meeting's minutes and approve them as posted? Is there a second? Excellent, thank you again. All in favor signifying by saying aye. All opposed? Thank you. 
Finally, it is now my privilege to honor those who are leaving us this year, and after providing outstanding service to the SLA and the entire California Surplus Lines community. First, we have one of our longest serving and most dedicated board member, Les Ross, who's been a fixture on the board of directors for the last 15 years. He served as chair in 2010, vice chair in 2009, and secretary treasurer in 2008. He has also served on a majority of the SLA's eight current standing committees, including seven years on the legislative committee, three years on the audit and education committees, and a year each on the stamping and technology committee. In 2009 and 2010, he served on three committees concurrently and did so in 2010 while also serving as chairman of the board. Les had nothing else to do. <laughs> I've known Les for a long time. Started off pretty much in New York together. At Parkington, if I remember, and Associates. Um, he's one of the um, most diligent, hardworking, down-to-earth people that I've ever met, and I'm proud to uh, wish you all the best, because I know you have a job to do, and uh, ask you to come up for a sec. That was close. Thank you, Bob. Outstanding Service Award presented to Les Ross, Wholesale Trading Insurance Services. In recognition of your numerous contributions to the Board of Directors and steadfast support of the Surplus Lines Association of California, 2003 to 2018. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. Thank you. I'd also like to mention my predecessor, Tom Cardello, who has given many years of service to the California Surplus Lines community. Tom became a member of the SLA's Board of Directors in 2014, and he has served five years, including chair in 2017, vice chair in 2016, secretary treasurer in 2015. He also served on the audit committee for three years and chaired it in 2017, and was a member of the stamping committee for four years. He chaired it in 2016. He additionally served one year on the technology committee, and Tom, during his chairmanship in 2017, was a champion for fiscal discipline, and he set a firm foundation from which I have benefited greatly during my time as chair. Tom couldn't be with us today, but we sent him a plaque to commemorate his service to his office, which cost money to do, <laughs> so I've, I've got to get back with Tom and remind him that he actually, you know, we spent extra money just because of him. I want to thank the attendees and ask if there's any additional new business. Okay, if there is none, um, I'd like to adjourn this, this meeting um, and thank everybody again for attending. Um, and the best part of this day is that the bar is now open. <laughs> thank you.